All right, here we go. This is up, uh, software update 2022.4.5.15. So this is FSD beta 10.11. So full self-driving beta suspension. So now you can get suspended for, oop, for maximum safety, use full self-driving properly, will be suspended if improper usage is detected. So this has happened sometimes, especially when you look down at your phone, you get a little message over here saying, you know, you need to pay attention. And then sometimes if that happens too frequently, then it'll disengage FSD. I'll leave this here for a second. You can pause the video if you want to read the rest of it. So all, you know, just designed around safety. All right, so then we can swipe up. So now this is the FSD beta 10.11 release notes. So upgraded modeling of lane geometry. Holy cow, they're doing some really cool stuff there. I'm gonna try and move that out of the glare so you guys can pause the video here. If you wanna read all this, improved right away understanding of the map, if the map is inaccurate. So that's really cool. We'll have to read through these and I'm gonna try and organize some test. Improved creeping profile with high jerk when creeping starts and ends. Okay, that's great. Lots of improvements here with 10.11. So again, I'm just kind of scrolling through this, not gonna read every one so you can see it. So now it looks like FSD beta autopilot improvements. So I don't know if this part is new. And then driving visual visualization Okay, so n I think this is new, so yep, now you can drag this bar over, is what it, I'm reading here. To view the expanded view when in drive with full self-driving enabled, drag the light gray visualization bar to the right. So basically when you're driving and you know you have your like that looking screen over here, you can basically just drag it over, uh, which is kind of cool. So I'll try to get a video of that. And then cabin camera improvements, the cabin camera above the rearview mirror can now determine driver inattentiveness and provide an audible alert. So it is really good at this, especially even when you glance down or like I was looking down at a piece of paper um, and it said pay attention. So really good at that for sure. So there are the release notes again. So what I'm gonna try and do is get a video of that now. Okay, so you can see here that I did turn it on so you have the full display, which I really like, but I do feel like I'm distracted a little bit. And since the autopilot camera is so good, you can see that now I get a please pay attention to the road. So that's my first one there and you only get three sh strikes and then you are out and that it's disables autopilot for the remainder of the drive. So you're gonna get a chance to see just how good the front facing camera is here in a second. That's really cool, that's yeah. huge. So as you can see here, I was put in autopilot timeout. And so that means that auto steer is unavailable for the rest of the drive. It does allow you to do cruise control, but the FSD beta basically was disengaged because it saw my eyes looking down at the screen too many times. Great safety feature, but really annoying when you're using it. So what you can do is pull over, put the car in park, then it'll give you another display warning you of this, and then you can engage drive again and carry on. Now I was able to test the newest FSD beta, this version 10.11, on some pretty curvy backcountry roads. And it performed beautifully. Not a lot of cars around here, but its ability to predict where the road is gonna curve over some of these blind hills and sharper turns was really impressive. I felt it was really buttery smooth and felt most like a human compared to all the other FSD beta versions that I have tested. So really impressive, great job Tesla Autopilot team. Now on a separate drive, it did start to sprinkle a little bit and you can see that I got a warning that the FSD beta was disabled because of inclement weather. So not much rain at all, as you can see from the windshield, but it did disable it. Now part of the other driver was able to run into this unique situation, which is a trash truck on the opposite side of the road. So no intervention here. It did slow down drastically right at the end. 
uh, when it saw that the car was on the wrong side of the road parked and safely passed. Now this intersection test that I have done several video series on now is so easy for the FSD beta, so I stopped doing that. I did do a short updating you guys and now 10.11 also is able to make it through the intersection, so no changes there. I did find one instance where the FSD beta is a little too aggressive. You can see the feeler arm trying to go around the stop school bus while kids are getting off. So nothing is being done by me as a driver right now. It sees the bus, it sees it stop, but the FSD beta really wants to go around that car and you can see that it actually starts to go around the bus. So the stop sign is clearly out, so I do have to take over, but pretty aggressive. FSD beta 10.11 there trying to pass a school bus. So definitely for all you FSD beta testers out there, keep your hands on the wheel, remain attentive. Do not fall asleep. This is not what this system is for. This is still a driver assist system. Please remain safe, help Tesla test this out, but do not take advantage of the system. Do not become complacent. Remain with your hands on the wheel, ready to take over at all times. Again, I wanna reiterate that 10.11 is probably the best FSC beta yet, and that is good because it shows that they're going in the right direction. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Share this video with a friend, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. As always, I will catch you guys in the next one.